Well, hello. You ever look at an expensive pen like a Nakaya or a Platinum Izumo or a Pilot King of Pen? Does Pilot have a King of Pens? Emperor something. Somebody has a King of Pens and somebody's got an Emperor. Anyway, um, you can tell which brand I don't have an expensive pen from. But anyway, ever look at a pen like that and think, is that really any different from their regular offerings? Well, in this video, we are going to explore the difference between a Nakaya and a Platinum 3776. They have the same nib. In fact, they even have the same nib size. And uh, we're just going to find out. So let's dive into it. All right, so these are the two pens in question. We have a Platinum 3776 and a Nakaya Decapod Twist. So we'll look at them on the outside first, and then I want to do a little bit of close-up stuff so we can analyze them. So Nakaya Decapod Twist is the more expensive pen. Eh, nothing really on the finials. There's no uh, clip. You can see, I haven't actually counted, <laughs> but apparently there are 10 facets on the side. It is painted in Irushi, which uh, this is the Hekatamanuri finish which is a very attractive greenish brown. And I'm told it will improve with age. Why, yes, it does say squirrel. And then we have a soft, fine nib, plastic feed, and to the dismay of some, at a pen, for a pen at this price point, it's a cartridge converter pen. And it is possible to thread it wrong. Which I don't know enough about threading to know if there's a way around that, but that is something that I just kind of thought, oh, I don't know. The other pen. Woo! <laughs> Sorry, uh, the other pen is a Platinum 3776. Uh, yeah, that shocked the name right out of my brain. Uh, this is injection molded plastic. Uh, you can sort of see there's an injection mark there. Very nice red plastic. I, I, I find it an attractive pen. Same thing, screw cap. This one has... A special mechanism in it that you probably can't tell here yeah you definitely can't tell but what it's supposed to do is provide an extra seal that'll keep this inked up for a year which my experimenting was kind of a dubious claim and then it turns out to also be a cartridge converter pen but more acceptable at this price point to some people I honestly don't care that's not a thing for me uh, also a soft fine nib. Oh, come on. There we go. And the same exact feed. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set them side by side. We're going to see how well I can zoom in on this business. Because we're going to do some comparing. Maybe a little further down. Those sure look like the same nib to me. The only difference is what's carved in them. Or stamped, I guess. Turn them on their sides. This is harder than it looks. <laughs> Good gravy. Okay. Oh, that actually helps to put my hand behind them. So, I don't know. It looks like the Nakaya maybe bends down a little bit more. But otherwise... Same feed, same nib. Turn them on their backs. Same feed. So, yeah, when you, before I even write, I think you know the conclusion. Nakaya Decapod Twist, you're paying for an ebonite body with a, an Arushi finish. So you're paying for the finish. You're paying for art with the... Um, the Platinum, I think it's a very beautiful color. The advertisement of this leaping up out of a 
glass of wine really just spoke to me. But it is just, you know, injection molded plastic. I just grabbed the wrong notebook. So I was asked recently why I don't do the side-by-side -side comparisons anymore. The reality is it's work. <laughs> um, but I'm going to try to do it this time, so what the hey. So first pen we're going to look at is the Nakaya, I'm sorry, is the Platinum 3776. And I'm going to turn up the exposure just slightly to hopefully make it look a little better. So both of them are soft, fine nibs. I think I can zoom in just a bit more. There we go. Now we're... So I'm using Black Swan and English Rose in the Noodler's pen. Or I'm sorry, in the Platinum pen uh, in the other pen I'm using uh, Ackermann ink I think you can see that there is a bit of flex uh, wetness and flow it's a little misleading because both are fine point pens but they're wet pens. Um, smear test. Reverse writing. Not, you know, super wet, but they are fine points. And finally, the world famous Pierre Gustafson test. So I missed on one downstroke here, but that may have been my fault. So I think it did very well. I just want to do a comparison, like right side by side, not a full whatever, but I'm going to just write. So both did very well, by the way, with the reverse writing, but I just want to do no pressure that is almost invisible no pressure okay so I think that this is a little bit wetter pen but it also could be the ink ideally I would have done this test with the same ink now we'll do some flexing so soft does not mean flex nib soft just means it's got some boingage So I think that the Platinum, perhaps, and this has always been my feeling, uh, perhaps goes a bit finer than the Nakaya, but I think they both flex as much as each other. As far as holding them, the Nakaya is very comfortable to hold. Yes, I'm on the threads, but it doesn't bother me. This bit of a step up does not bother me. And on the... 3776. Yeah, I touch threads there too. Less of a step up, but uh, it's long enough. Both very comfortable pens to write with. So, what do you think? Is there a winner there? Now, I will just start out by saying the Platinum 3776 is beautiful. I love that dark red finish. It 
would fit in my pocket if I actually aimed it for the front of the pocket. Fits in my pocket very well, has a nice clip, feels good in my hand. The Nakaya also feels good in my hand, does not have a clip, but you know, it does sit nicely in my pocket. Um, <clears throat> well, the nib's a little stiffer on the Nakaya, but that could be manufacturing or whatever, who knows. So what's the advantage? Why are you paying so much more money for a Nakaya? And yeah, there, I, there are cheaper Nakayas. You, you have seen on this channel my uh, Neo Standard Writer, which is cheaper than a Decapod Twist. Not anymore, but it was back when I bought these pens. <laughs> uh, but anyway, you know, what's the advantage? Well, I hate to say this, but in the case of Platinum and Nakaya... It's not the nib, it's not the feed, it's not the filling mechanism. Those are the same on both pens. I could interchange them if I wanted to. I don't get an ebonite feed on my Nakaya. I get the same plastic feed as on the Platinum 3776. The advantage is the Platinum 3776 is injection molded plastic. Admittedly, injection molded plastic with that special sealing mechanism that the Platinum 3776 Century has. The Kaya doesn't have the fancy sealing mechanism. It has a name and it just slipped my brain as soon as I started talking here in this video, but uh, yeah. So what does the Nakaya offer? Well, it's pretty. And that sounds like I'm really mocking it, but when you buy a Nakaya, you're not getting injection molded plastic. You're getting an ebonite pen that is then covered with many layers of hand painted Irushi. When you buy a Nakaya, you are buying a work of art. This is a pen that can't be made in a factory using mass production techniques. So of course you're paying for it. Now, does my Nakaya Decapod Twist and the Hekatama Nuri finish look exactly like the next Nakaya Decapod Twist and the, the... I knew I couldn't say those words twice in a row without screwing it up. Hekatama Nuri finish? Eh, there's going to be individual differences, but they're basically going to look alike. I guess I have the squirrel stuff on the section, but... You know, they're basically going to look alike. They'll age a little differently depending on the owner and how they're treated. But but the thing is, hand-painted, done very well. It's kind of like if you buy a blanket knitted by somebody. Uh, they might follow a pattern. In fact, they probably do follow a pattern. They're knitting it. If they're doing a good job... The end product should be very similar, but there's a world of difference between a hand-knitted blanket, especially if it's doing all the fancy knitting, and a blanket that you just like, yeah, I bought that at Walmart for 15 bucks. You know, that that's what I can see with these two pens. Two very good writing instruments. You are paying for the artistry. Is it worth it? I don't know. I, is it worth it to you? That, that's the question you have to ask. And can you afford it? I'll be honest, if I did not have this YouTube channel, I would not own the Nakaya. I wouldn't own either Nakaya. I wouldn't own my Platinum Izumo. And there's a handful of other pens I would not own. Because what I make as a teacher, I couldn't justify them. Now, what I make on YouTube... Can't justify it there either, but I'm not trying to live off my YouTube money. The YouTube money is fun money or channel money. And when I say fun money, it's got to be channel related. So camera gear, microphone, new pens, new lights. So, uh, yeah, I, am, am I gl and I am glad I have the pen. I love the pen. But uh, not worth the premium to me on what I make. No. I take a better job that, you know, where you're actually valued. And I might have a different opinion that, yeah, I'll pay that for a pen. But 
on a teacher's salary? No. Uh, is a Lamy 2000 worth it on a teacher's salary? Most of my colleagues would say no, but I'd say yes, because I love that thing to pieces. And as soon as the uh, a certain pen gets empty, the Lamy 2000 is coming out to play. So, uh, yeah, you, you're paying for the art when you buy a pen like this. And uh, that's okay. Because one of the things about us humans is that we value art. We value that creativity, that, that ability to do make beautiful things that we can each do. Uh, I don't look at my preview screen here. I don't, you don't have any art in the background here other than maybe that lava lamp, which had an unfortunate incident during the dusting. And uh, now it's all cloudy inside. <laughs> so I'm hoping the cloudiness disappears eventually if I run it enough, but... I have uh, art hung all around the living room. Let's see, there's a, my grandmother did a, over there, there's a needlepoint of a church that my grandmother did. There's a painting of a sailboat that hung in my grandparents' basement. There's a cross stitch of a sailboat that my mother did. There's a painting of a sailboat that I was given as a present. There is a, uh, Beautiful piece of art of a planet that's been discovered with uh, one of these telescopes that can see far, far away. Uh, I have a photograph of my own right there of uh, some trains and a rainbow right here in my little town. I've got a mouse climbing a sumac flower berry thing. Um, I've got art all around. That is a human thing. And yeah, that's the value of it. Is this attractive? Yes, uh, I, I really love the advertisement for this where this platinum is rising out of the wine glass. Uh, I tried, I bought some wine and tried to recreate that picture. Um, no, the color does not match, but it's okay. They're trying to evoke a mood in the art, in the advertisement. Uh, so yes, well made, but at a different level from the hand painted Urushi. So, yeah, if you can't afford the Nakaya Platinum 3776, you've got the same nib. Go for it. And uh, know that you're missing out on the art, not the writing experience. So, anyway, for whatever that was worth, <laughs> I'm going to do, a, I've either got an Indian pen or an East German pen that I want to do next week because uh, I'm, bored with comparisons and want to do something else so anyway i want to thank you for watching we'll talk to you later bye-bye